Rio Tinto and Vale are both great companies, but which of them can make us more money in the long term? Let's try to find out. But first, why are we comparing them? Well, they have a lot of differences, but also some important similarities. Rio Tinto is the fourth biggest mining company in the world. It offers everything from aluminium, copper, lithium to diamonds, gold and salt. And Vale is the largest producer of iron ore and nickel in the world. So Rio Tinto is a bit more diversified and almost twice as big, but they are both huge mining companies that are major players in the world economy. So which of them is a better investment at the current time? First, let's take a look at the past results of both companies. So if we were to invest $1,000 into each of those companies 10 years ago, today our shares of Rio Tinto would be worth $1,228 and our shares of Vale would be worth $830. So it's a win for Rio Tinto. But let's not forget that both of them pay dividends. So for the last 10 years, we would get $850 in dividends from Rio Tinto and $526 from Vale. So also here, it's a win for Rio Tinto. And when we add them all up, we get $2,078 from Rio Tinto and only $1,356 from Vale. So it's another point for Rio Tinto. So the final score concerning the past results is Rio Tinto 3, Vale 0. Now let's take a look at the investors. So individual insiders own 0.05% of Rio Tinto and 0.00% of Vale. So the difference is extremely small, but rules are rules, it is a check for Rio Tinto. And are individual insiders buying recently? That is a check for Rio Tinto and an X for Vale. That means that individual insiders are buying only the shares of Rio Tinto in the recent months. And do super investors own these companies? There are no super investors owning Rio Tinto, but two super investors own shares of Vale. So it's a check for Vale. And are they buying? That is of course an X for Rio Tinto, but also an X for Vale. We actually see that Howard Marks reduced his position in Vale by 7% and Bill Miller reduced it by over 70% in the last quarter. So some big moves. So the final score when it comes to investors is Rio Tinto 2 and Vale 1. Okay, so now let's compare the financial health of both companies. Return on invested capital. It is 12.2% for Rio Tinto and 6.6% for Vale. So Rio Tinto gets a check for that. And what about free cash flow growth? It is 18% for Rio Tinto and 22.2% for Vale. So in this case, it is a check for Vale. And net profit margin? It is 22.3% for Rio Tinto and 21.7% for Vale. So it's another check for Rio Tinto. But the difference is less than 1%. And now let's take a look at share buyback. Rio Tinto bought back 12.3% of its shares in the last 10 years and Vale bought back 9.9% at the same time. So yet again, Rio Tinto is slightly better. And how many years will it take for each company to pay back its debt? Well, for Rio Tinto, it is just one year. And for Vale, it is 1.4. So it's another check for Rio Tinto. And it is worth pointing out that both of those companies have some incredible financial results. And in most cases, the differences are really small. 
But the final score when it comes to financial health is 4 points for Rio Tinto and just 1 point for Vale. Now it's time to compare the dividends. So the dividend yield for Rio Tinto is 7.6% and for Vale it is 5.2%. So it's a check for Rio Tinto, even though both dividends are really impressive. And the payout ratio is 64% for Rio Tinto and 36% for Vale. So in this case, we prefer a lower payout ratio because it means that the company is distributing through dividends a lower portion of its earnings and keeping the rest, which creates bigger possibilities for the future. It also means that the dividends are more sustainable and there is a smaller chance of them getting smaller in the future. So it's a check for Vale. And lastly, the dividend growth. We don't see any growth for Rio Tinto and an incredible growth of 30.9% for Vale in the last five years. So of course, it's a check for Vale. And the final score concerning the dividends is 1 point for Rio Tinto and 2 points for Vale. And now let's try to compare the valuations of both companies. And to do that, we will use an average intrinsic value per share. In videos in which I analyze companies, I always create three scenarios of future growth and end up with three different prices. So that is the average of those three prices after applying a 30% margin of safety. So the average intrinsic value per share for Rio Tinto is around $56 and the current share price is closer to $61. So that is an X because the current share price is higher than the average intrinsic value. And when we look at Vail, we see that the average intrinsic value is around $16, but the current share price is just $12. So it is a check because current share price is lower than the intrinsic value. So it currently looks like a bargain. And let's also look at the percentage difference. For Rio Tinto, it is minus 8%. So it is overvalued by around 8%. Not great, but not that bad. And Vale is undervalued by 25.5%. That is really nice. So of course, a win for Vale. And the end score for valuation is zero points for Rio Tinto and two points for Vale. <music> So now let's take a look at the final score. Past results, it is 3 points for Rio Tinto and no points for Vale. Investors, it is 2 points for Rio Tinto and 1 for Vale. Financial health, 4 points for Rio Tinto and 1 point for Vale. Dividends, 1 point for Rio Tinto and 2 points for Vale. And finally, valuation. Zero points for Rio Tinto and two points for Vale. So the final score is 10 points for Rio Tinto and six points for Vale. But of course, we have to remember that these results are very simplified. They do not show the full picture. While Vale has a better price, Rio Tinto won mainly because of great past results and some incredible financial health. So even though Rio Tinto is a clear winner in our game, your investment decisions must take into account the way you want to invest, the way of investing that makes you feel comfortable and that suits your investment goals. And if you want to learn more about Rio Tinto or Vale, you can find my analysis of those companies over here. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.